From WREL News and the Capital Broadcasting Podcast Network, this is your Coronavirus, North Carolina News Brief for Monday, June 15th, 2020. I'm Cliff Bumgardner. Here's the latest from WREL.com. Today, Governor Roy Cooper said the state is weighing whether to make masks mandatory in public, citing the steady increase in coronavirus cases in recent weeks. Confirmed cases of COVID-19 and hospitalizations due to the illness have been on the rise in recent weeks as North Carolina returns to business under Stage 2 of the governor's three-phase reopening plan. Experts say cabin fever and fatigue with coronavirus precautions have led more people to get out, increasing their exposure to the virus. Recent protests have also complicated matters as any form of mass gathering can lead to increased spread. Health experts say masks are key in preventing the spread of the virus. In North Carolina, masks are currently only required for some workers, such as healthcare providers and employees of salons and other personal care businesses, but they generally aren't required of customers or for anyone out in public in much of the state. At a press conference today, Governor Cooper said a requirement for all North Carolinians to wear masks in public was, quote, absolutely in discussion. At least two counties in North Carolina, Orange and Durham, already require residents to wear facial coverings in public spaces unless prohibited by medical or religious concerns. At the time of recording, there have been more than 45,000 cases of the coronavirus confirmed in North Carolina, leading to at least 1,172 deaths. The American Red Cross has joined the Blood Connection in offering free antibody tests for all blood and plasma donors. An antibody test can indicate if a person has been exposed to coronavirus, although a positive antibody test result does not confirm infection or immunity from the virus. Whether blood tests positive for antibodies or not, it is much needed and can be used to treat patients filling hospitals as surgeries resume. All donors who give blood to the American Red Cross in June will also receive a $5 Amazon gift card. In May, when the Blood Connection announced it would test donors for antibodies, donor visits in the triangle doubled. Experts say giving blood during the pandemic is safe, but individuals who do not feel well or who believe they may be ill with COVID-19 should postpone their donation. Blood drives rely on temperature checks, social distancing, and face coverings to protect donors and staff. People are asked to schedule an appointment in advance so staff can space out donors. COVID-19 antibody test results will be available within 7 to 10 days in the Red Cross Blood Donor app or donor portal at redcrossblood.org. Yesterday, Raleigh Mayor Mary Ann Baldwin said it is, quote, unacceptable for crowds to gather on Glenwood South in Raleigh during the continuing COVID-19 pandemic. Dozens of people packed the sidewalks Friday night waiting to get inside restaurants in the popular Raleigh neighborhood. Very few wore masks and social distancing was limited. Mayor Baldwin said she spent several hours on the phone with business owners on Glenwood South explaining her expectations. She said she saw many of those people taking more caution afterwards and upholding those responsibilities. Baldwin says she wants increased enforcement of social distancing standards going forward saying a stronger police presence may be necessary, even in light of recent protests in Raleigh and across the country, against police brutality. She also said she wants greater accountability from business owners in the area, suggesting the use of security guards to enforce rules in restaurant waiting lines. And lastly, today, U.S. regulators revoked emergency authorization for malaria drugs promoted by President Donald Trump for treating COVID-19 amid growing evidence they don't work and could cause serious side effects. The Food and Drug Administration said the drugs hydroxychloroquine and chloroquine are unlikely to be effective in treating the coronavirus. Citing reports of heart complications, the FDA said the drug's unproven benefits, quote, do not outweigh the known and potential risks. The decades-old drugs, also prescribed for lupus and rheumatoid arthritis, can cause heart rhythm problems, severely low blood pressure, and lead to muscle or nerve damage. The move means that shipments of the drugs obtained by the federal government will no longer be distributed to state and local health authorities for use against the coronavirus. 
This has been your Coronavirus North Carolina News Brief for Monday, June 15th, 2020. As always, if you enjoy the news and information you get from this show, let us know. Leave a rating and review wherever it is you listen. And while you're there, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss our latest episodes. Thanks for listening.